Well, hello there guys and welcome back to some Call to Arms action. Today we get to try out quite a few mechanized units and we're also trying out just basic Wehrmacht riflemen here. Um, I believe these locations are already under our control, so the goal is to really hold these locations against the enemy. Uh, we've also got an allied force kind of helping us here, so I'm hoping that's going to make things somewhat easier. And for once, we get to try out these new German armored cars. They look quite beautiful. Move them up and see if they're useful. This one actually has a pretty heavy round there, 2.5 centimeter. Eh, not too heavy, but hopefully enough to maybe even pen some of the enemy light vehicles. I'm going to go ahead and push this other team to the north. Now, one issue with taking these somewhat better units um, is the fact that we can't take as many of them. We can't just pump this area full of um, really low-quality riflemen, so we want to be careful with these guys. I'm going to actually send them here first before we make a push into that swamp area, even though I do believe it belongs to us. I want to make absolutely certain. I'm already hearing gunfire, so that's not a good thing. Well, we've got a second team here, guys, this time with a SDKFZ. You guys have seen many of these in my Graviteam Tactics videos. We're going to bring that to the front and ask for the infantry back here. We've got uh, quite a few Grenadier units, some Riflemen here, Wehrmacht units. We're just going to bring them over here and prepare them. They're going to be kind of a reserve group uh, in case Ivan attacks. So, so far, things have been pretty calm, pretty steady here on the battlefield. Again, we do own these locations. Maybe it'll be a nice day here in the Dnieper swamps, but I highly doubt it. All right, contact has been established. Looks like we've got an enemy vehicle potentially ahead here. Yep, that's a T. I don't know what it is, tank. Well, I don't even want to get close enough to it to even find out. But if our tank is on it, um, or our armored vehicle, it's certainly not enough to take this thing out. We're going to have to move up with the AT squad and potentially sacrifice some of these units. So I'm pushing up. Okay. Well done by my armored vehicle. I guess I just didn't have enough faith in him. We did knock out the Soviet tank. Now we're a little farther ahead than we'd like. Might be time to move those reinforcements into these men's original position. Um, so I am going to go ahead and grab some, some of this group. A few of them might also be useful against this incoming Soviet wave over here. So much to focus on at once. We don't really have much cover here. Well, let's take cover. I'm trying to get behind the wood, but even that's not sufficient. Hopefully we'll be able to return fire with this and still get some assistance to that unit in the north. Let's see how our boys are doing. They're leading right now. Um, sure enough, but they are tearing us up over in this area. Just look at that. Fire. Attack, boys. Yes! Okay, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Boy up. They are all here. Every single damn last one of Ivan's men. It would be wonderful to get some medics up here right now, but I don't think it's time for it. What we will do is move up the SDKFC. We can start repairing uh, this bad boy. And we've got another enemy tank. I'm not sure if we can actually wipe it out. We'll soon find out. He is down. Not such a bad job there by our uh, mechanized unit. Complete ponage of the enemy is all I can say. Let's set him up right here, guys. I am going to try to find um, some sort of medic. We have brought up some additional units. And not a single medic amongst them. Unfortunately, investing in these, you know, albeit tougher units, we didn't bring these medics forward. Just got one group here. Let's see if they can save some lives. Wow. It's like Terminator. I mean, it really is just absolutely brutal here. The fact is we are winning. That's the important thing. I kind of want to move a few units of the here up forward just to uh, kind of keep a watch over the wounded men. Again, I'm not sure how many of them we can actually save. 
battle looks pretty rough, and uh, not sure they're gonna survive quite much longer, really. This is where we brought some infantry forward. They're definitely gonna send some guys against us. Get up there with an MP40. Medics are still not here. I don't think we saved any of them, unfortunately. Look at all of those units. Stop right there and just give them help. In fact, if we knew any better, we would back up, but too late now. KFC truly has been the hero of this battle. And look at that. The medics are just now arriving, but it's too late. There's nothing they can do right now. What I will do, though, is bring them back to base. So they can remain here and at least heal any units that take damage, uh, you know, in the, in the future of this battle. Assuming Ivan manages to break forward or break through. They're just surrounded by corpses at this point. see how our other uh, vehicle is doing here. Still hasn't repaired. There he goes. I'm not sure why. Maybe just because they're under fire here, they consider themselves to be under fire. There we go. Alright guys, fixing that vehicle. But so far the enemy doesn't have anything that can break through the lines there. What about over here in the south? Again, we just pretty much remain behind the line. That seems to have worked pretty well. And in fact, I think I'm going to send that secondary vehicle to our southern front. These infantry need assistance. Let's go. over here, and it looks like they finally did manage to damage good old SDKFC here. Throw everything at them to stop them from dest destroying this vehicle, but they're getting pretty damn close. All they need is a single AT grenade, maybe even just a regular grenade. Good shooting. Patrick Von Bock, we appreciate your service. He's still firing. I just love this vehicle right now. Of course, in this conquest mode situation, guys, every time we win one of these battles, we unlock a little bit more in that research tree. So if you have any special desires, any anything you want to see on either the German or the Soviet side, just let me know in the comments below and we will make it happen. Uh, I'm curious myself to kind of see what's going to happen here. Oh man, they just don't stop. They just keep coming, just like a true Soviet force. Look at this, though. It's looking pretty brutal for our Soviet friends here. I mean, the amount of numbers we're stacking up here is unbelievable, but they keep on attacking. They still have a chance. If they can break through one of these locations, they can absolutely finish us off. In fact, I think we should even bring forward this Veyav group. Let's do that. Just to have an additional line of defense. I don't think these areas are going to explode um, anymore. I hope not. So let's push the Veya forward, and hopefully they can help us uh, sort of push the Soviets back, or keep them back, more like. Very nice. Battle that is constantly going on, 
And again, unfortunately, the ones that got hit were the medics. Maybe it would be safer to keep all of our units back, but I just couldn't do that. Not with our SDPFC here by himself. I want to make sure that he doesn't get overrun by any AT units. So we're remaining here till the end. And I don't even want to risk trying to repair him. Um, that would involve actually getting the driver out of here or one of the vehicle crew out, and that's just not going to be safe. Get Foxhole up. Safer. Unfortunately, he took one to the head. He's not going to be getting back up for this battle. Wait a minute. We do have a medic here. Let's see if he potentially get a few of these guys back up. Although with the uh, intense enemy fire we're under, I'm not so sure. if you can use these medics well, they're going to be very, very helpful during these fights. Oh! Took one right to the throat. Let's see if his medic friend can help him. Oh! Not going to happen. So they've got this area well scoped out by a machine gun. I'm not even going to mess with it anymore, guys. We're getting so close to that victory. So close I can taste it. But first... Probably not a bad idea to send a few more units up there to the north. I do see an enemy vehicle there. We might even need to send our vehicle up to the north. This could change things. Wait a minute. Pretty light vehicle. I think we're okay. A T-37. It looks like the SDKFC took care of it. Of course, now it gives time for that enemy infantry to creep a bit closer. before we can call this a victory, and I just can't imagine the numbers at this point. It's got to be pretty crazy. Evidently, the game does have some units disappearing. Not every single one of the guys we killed is here, but this is just horrific. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. extra safe. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab this vehicle and send him up to the front line as well. This is the immediate problem, of course. So we want to make sure that we've got this problem completely covered. At this point, they really have just thrown everything into infantry. They might actually destroy the SDKFC here. I really want these guys to survive, though. They've been absolute heroes here in the armored car. No chance, Ivan. No chance. Deutschland is watching you closely. All right, still hearing some gunshots here. That's making me wary. Although I think it's... Nope, it's still coming from that location. Wait a minute. We're going to have to back up and go right back. Got a whole group of Soviets attacking over here. Although I'm hoping that it's a little late for them to do any real uh, damage to us. To make much of a difference in this fight. We've still got our very units there. And that's going to be a victory, guys. Well, I'll take it. Um, if you guys enjoyed these kind of battles in Call to Arms Gates of Hell, please make sure to like, comment, share with your friends. Do all that stuff you kids do these days. I don't know. But thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.